Hi, my name is Elizabeth Tai and I'm an Obsidian enthusiast from Malaysia. A couple of people have been asking me to demonstrate how I use Obsidian to plan for my day. So I thought I'll make this video. Warning, I'm not really good at making videos. I don't really enjoy making videos, but I think that um, you need a video to really understand how I use Obsidian, you know, to plan for my day, basically. So I came to Obsidian by accident. I remember com came, coming across this software because I was searching really hard to create a wiki for myself. I wanted like a, a little encyclopedia of my own. So I was searching high and low for a software like this. I used OneNote for a while, didn't quite like it. Then Obsidian popped up in my search. It was daunting at first, but when I really took the time to learn it, I fell in love with it. And one thing interesting that I realized that Obsidian was powerful enough to become a task management tool for me, you know. Um, so warning, this is a very high level view of how I plan for my day using Obsidian. So it's not a step-by-step -step tutorial, though I will tell you what plugins I use. Namely, I don't use many community plugins because I like to keep things simple. For the daily notes, I mainly use the template plugin, which is a core plugin that comes with Obsidian, a calendar plugin, and I believe it's the daily note plugin, but I'm not very sure to be honest, and the task plugin. So these plugins enable me to automate my daily notes. So before I start explaining to you what how I do my project um, daily notes, <laughs> um, I want to show you a very important document in my system. It's called the project notes. So basically, my system is made out of many, many project notes. And in my project notes contains all the information I need to execute the project. And that includes the task list. And using the task app, I am basically able to tell Obsidian to fetch various tasks from various project notes and populate it in my daily notes according to what day. So that has created a very nice automated way for me to work on my tasks, which I will demonstrate next. So I'm going to show you how I create my daily notes. Uh, I use two ways to create it. One is through this uh, little button here. I believe this is the daily notes plugin. I don't know. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I can't remember. So when I click this, it generates the daily note for the day that I clicked it. Another way to create another daily note is through the calendar. You see this calendar here? This is the calendar app. So you can activate it this way. The good thing about the calendar app is that you can create um, daily notes for different days. You can create it one for uh, 31st. Or, you know, it doesn't have to be the same day. So that's what I like about the calendar app, but I rarely use this because I like to generate daily notes on the same, same day itself. But let me show you how it works. Ta-da! Let me explain the template to you. So usual stuff. Uh, that's the date. I like to use this format because it's just easier to order. Sometimes I'll give it a title so that I can instantly know what happened on that day. Like today, I'll say, visited old apartment. All right. And I actually did visit my old apartment. I'll put the weekly plans URL here. And like with the weekly plan, I have a section on top where I sort of tell a story to myself on how the day will go. So for an example, I will write, I would like to take the books from the old apartment back to the new one. How did it go? I usually answer that at the end of the day. I procrastinated until 4 p.m., but at least I went. This section is more for work days and this whole week I'm off, so I'm not going to answer this, but usually I start the day by checking all of this off. So it's sort of like a quick way for me to start the day. All right. So yep, check the company, my, my team's Kanban board and another Kanban board, check the work calendar so that we don't miss meetings. 
All right? But since I'm on holiday, this doesn't apply, all right? And as you can see, even this, this is on the 31st. Sorry, I just realized I was writing on the 31st. Even, this, even though this is on the 31st, um, today's task is the task that is generated for today. So it's a bit weird, the task app. So, and it looks like this. You have to enter this code uh, or a series of instructions so that it will generate the task for today. It doesn't matter. Uh, since this this page and all the, the, the pages have this that code, that means it doesn't matter what day you go to, it will change. So if I wanted to be more precise and it, uh, so that I can return to it one day and see, I, ha I have to sort of like change the date. But I realized that when I open the text file that um, it sort of doesn't record. So I didn't think it was, uh, I don't really bother basically. It's where the overdue tasks are. As usual, it, the code looks like this. And this is the week's task. See? Okay. This is empty now, but uh, that's because I've already finished the year and my work goals are all completed. But usually this contains links to projects that I'm dealing with. So at, I can deal up to five to six projects at once, you know, so... All the links are here. Notes is a section where I put to, uh, where I put random things that I need to remember or do, like if I need to talk to a colleague or if I need to uh, do something. Yeah, I just put it here. Or I found something interesting, you know. It's just a section. And this is my daily reflection section or my journal section. And these are the journal prompts I try to answer at the end of the day. I always usually do mine at the end of the day. Sometimes I have a lot to write. A lot of times it's just one-liners. And a lot sometimes I don't answer every question. But I find journaling this way has been quite helpful because at least I've been keeping up with some kind of uh, practice. And I also get to you know, have a picture, you know, um, of certain events, like for example, when general election was over and the prime minister was finally elected after a few tense days, you know, I put in uh, screenshots of that news article and I wrote about my feelings about it. That's what I like about journaling digitally because it's so much easier to grab photos and put stuff here. But I do think in 2023 that I need to cultivate a kind of paper and pen practice because I kind of miss that. I'm not sure. I don't think it should be an either or like I should stop digital journaling and just write, write purely on diary. I think I'll just still do both, but maybe the paper and pen will be more reflective. So that's it. This is um, my daily notes. So there you have it. This is how I use Obsidian to plan my day. Um, it continues to change and I think I will probably refine it even further next year. But I like how it is right now. I think it's a very easy way for me to keep track of things and very simple as well. Anyway, do you use Obsidian to plan your day? If you do, do leave a comment in the comments below.